This story today is called The Dark, and believe it or not, it is written by Lemony Snicket. You're probably familiar with the chapter books called A Series of Unfortunate Events, and did you know that the author Lemony Snicket also writes a few picture books, and they're fantastic. Um, this is one of them. It's called The Dark, and it's illustrated by another amazing author that we love. It's illustrated by John Klassen. John Klassen writes and illustrates all the hat books. I want my hat back. I don't know. I lost my hat. You stole my hat. We found a hat. I love my hat. All the hat books are by John Klassen. And so this story is written by Lemony Snicket, but illustrated by John Klassen. And you'll probably recognize the art. It's called The Dark. All right, what's happening? Why can't I turn the page? By Lemony Snicket. Laszlo was afraid of the dark. The dark lived in the same house as Laszlo, a big place with creaky roof, smooth, cold windows, and several sets of stairs. <clears throat> Sometimes the dark hid in the closet. Sometimes it sat behind the shower curtain. But mostly it spent its time in the basement. All day long the dark would wait in a distant corner, far from the squeaks and rattles of the washing machine, pressed up against some old damp boxes and a chest of drawers nobody ever opened. At night, of course, the dark went out and spread itself against the windows and doors of Laszlo's house. But in the morning, the dark would be back in the basement where it belonged. Laszlo would peek at the dark every morning. Hi, he would say. Hi, dark. Laszlo thought that if he visited the dark in the dark's room, it wouldn't come to visit him in his room. But one night, it did. Okay, I just wanna go back and look at this page. Look what happens, his light bulb burns out. But look what a good job John Klassen does with the art on this page. It actually looks like a light is on and then it's turned off and that's all just drawn. Laszlo, the dark said in the dark. The voice of the dark was as creaky as the roof of the house and as smooth and cold as the windows. And even though the dark was right next to Laszlo, the voice seemed very far away. What do you want? asked Laszlo. I want to show you something, said the dark. In here? No, said the dark. Here? No, no, said the dark. Downstairs. Downstairs? Yes, said the dark. In Laszlo's living room was the biggest window in the house. Laszlo looked out at all the dark outside. Above him, the roof creaked, and he closed his eyes. Now, dark was all Laszlo could see. No, no, the dark said again. Not there. Down here. Okay, Sunnysiders, first of all, I just want to tell you I won't ever read you a scary book. So this book is not actually scary. But let's find out what happens when Laszlo actually goes and visits the dark. In the basement? asked Laszlo. Yes, said the dark. Laszlo had never dared come to the dark's room at night. Come closer, said the dark. Laszlo came closer, even closer, said the dark. Yeah. You might be afraid of the dark, but the dark is not afraid of you. That's why the dark is always close by.
The dark peeks around the corner and waits behind the door, and you can see the dark up in the sky almost every night, gazing down at you as you gaze up at the stars. Without a creaky roof, the rain would fall on your bed, and without a smooth, cold window, you could never see outside, and without a set of stairs, you could never go into the basement where the dark spends its time. Without a closet, you would have nowhere to put your shoes, and without a shower curtain, you would splash water all over the bathroom, and without the dark, everything would be light, and you would never know if you needed a light bulb. Bottom drawer, said the dark. What? Bottom drawer, said the dark. Open the bottom drawer. Oh, thank you, said Laszlo. You're welcome, said the dark. Hey, wait a second. What, what, what happened on this page? What did the dark help him with? All that time, what was the dark leading him downstairs for? By the time Laszlo got back into bed, the room was no, the dark was no longer in his room, except when he closed his eyes to go to sleep. The next morning, Laszlo visited the dark in the basement. Hi, he said. Hi, dark. The dark didn't answer, but the bottom drawer was still open, so it looked like something in the corner was smiling. The dark kept on living with Laszlo, but it never bothered him again. the end. Hey, do you think the next time Laszlo's nightlight burns out, he's going to be afraid of getting a new light bulb? Or do you think he's going to be excited? Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.